<laughs> Ratchet and Clank on a portable gaming system. It's genius. It's like putting Harrison Ford in a good movie. So simple, yet so rare. Ratchet and Clank Size Matters is a remarkable accomplishment in that it's a regular old Ratchet and Clank game that fits on the PSP and it would probably stand up to any of its larger PS2 brethren if it weren't on the PSP. Just ignore them. But first, the good. As far as what you'd expect from a Ratchet and Clank game, it's all here. Weapons, inventive levels of both platforming and shooting. There are some nice touches that are added to the game, like the collection of various armor pieces that, when complete, allow the player new abilities, like being on fire. I remember the last time I was on fire, everybody was cheering. The fire. Thanks for sharing. With a nod towards shorter play sessions, your weapons power up more frequently, and you seem to collect new gadgets at a faster rate, making it worth your while to find some alone time, or as my family calls it, the lockup. Okay. Though the most impressive accomplishment are the graphics. This looks like a PS2 Ratchet and Clank game. The one graphical drawback is that the camera is really close to all Ratchet here, and you can't take in all your surroundings, and may find yourself unpleasantly blindsided by enemies off screen. Ratchet and Clank games have always been noted for their sublime controls that allow you to smoothly navigate both the intense combat and precarious platforming of the game. The PSP control layout doesn't come close in comparison. The control nubbin you guide Ratchet with doesn't offer anywhere near the precision necessary to guide him through the platforming sequences. More importantly is the button layout. Let me show you. See, strafing is essential to combat, which was simply performed by depressing the shoulder button. But you use the shoulders to control the camera, which should be controlled by the analog stick that doesn't exist. So how do you strafe? You move between the analog stick here and the D-pad above. One offers regular directional movement, one strafes. But the combat is intense enough that you need to move more quickly between the two than your brain or thumb allows, causing much frustration and mistakes as you desperately reach for the camera control stick that doesn't exist because someone thought the PSP didn't need one. In the end, all it did was make me yell. And when I yell, children cry. <laughs> so by the transitive properties of association, if the PSP makes me yell, and when I yell, children cry, the PSP makes children cry. It's the corporal punishment of gaming consoles. <laughs> Fact is, Size Matters is a great ratchet game on the wrong system. You can play the game to completion, but the pleasure that has been a hallmark of the series is noticeably absent. The great game it is feels frustratingly out of reach, like the 2008 election. A three out of five.